Hello and welcome, my friends. Welcome to the middle of the week. We made it to Wednesday, the 10th day of Christmas. Many of us are wrapping down our week at work and ramping up our week of holiday festivities to help with adding some added joy and happiness to your day. Let's jump in to the 10th day of Christmas. Hello and welcome, my friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you for joining me today and welcome you to my Just You and Me meditative series. In this meditation, I'm going to guide you through a visualization that's going to help you connect in with all the abundance that's all around you. We often go through life on autopilot and are so overwhelmed with the demands and expectations that are asked of us in our day that we miss out on the amazing aspects of abundance that we have. We also have a tendency to focus in on the material or financial abundance when there's so much more abundant aspects of yourself and your journey. In this meditation, I will support you in connecting in with that abundance that we've missed throughout our year. Before we get started, I need you to do a few things first. Like always, I'd like you to try and find a relatively quiet space where you're less likely to be disturbed. I know this can be a real challenge. However, please do the best you can. And remember, this time is for you, and you don't need the demands of everyday life taking away from the opportunities and the abundance that's going to present itself throughout this meditation. Additionally, I would recommend that you have your spiritual binder and pen at hand. During your meditation, you're going to have those notes and those messages that you want to get down. As we're participating in this meditation, I'm going to call on you to connect in with different things. You'll have different insight and wisdom to jot down. Additionally, you may have some more ahas at the end of this meditation. Because anytime we meditate, we're opening ourselves up to the guidance and wisdom of our high vibrational support team. And if we have the tools at hand, we don't have to go breaking concentration to go search for the supplies that you need to get the information down as our ego will definitely step in and help you forget this amazing insight, wisdom, and ahas. Finally, and most importantly, I want you to get comfortable. Make sure that you're wearing loose and relaxed clothing and that you're in a comfortable position with connection to the floor. This meditation works best when you're grounding yourself through your feet or your bottom. To start off, we're going to focus in on our breath. Breathing is the core to meditation and what's going to help you maintain your meditative state throughout this session. To begin, we're going to take three deep meditative breaths together. A breath comes in through your nose. Pause. And then exhale through your mouth. Pause before inhaling through your nose. Pause. Taking control of your breath helps you to slow your heart rate, calm your system, and reduce the tensions that have been building up throughout your day. As you continue to take these deep meditative breaths, and as we start the meditative phase of this session, I want you to choose to either close your eyes or focus gently on the imagery in front of you. This is a personal choice, and both methods are just as effective for this meditation. This meditation is for you, and you need to feel comfortable and safe so that you can fully connect in with this meditation. Continue to focus in 
on your breath. You are doing a fantastic job. I want to thank you for taking the time, slowing down, and spending this time with me. As you continue to take these deep breaths, I want you to visualize in your mind's eye your favorite space of nature that you frequent and love so very much. We're going to go back in time. We're going to see our favorite nature space in the spring. The air is cool on your face. And as you inhale, that air feels crisp and clean. Take some time to explore your space and see what gifts Gaia had left you during the springtime. As you enjoy the cool air, your favorite nature space in the springtime, something catches your eye. You can't keep your eyes off of it. You head over to investigate. You pick up the item. It feels so right in your hands. Smiling to yourself and adoring your newfound item, you start to head out of your favorite space. On the way, you see a basket. You pick it up and gently place your item in it, and you continue to leave your nature space. Remember to keep breathing, my friends. As you leave your space, you are surrounded by a white, smoke-like energy. You feel calm and safe as this white energy embraces you. You continue to walk forward and eventually the energy dissipates and you find yourself back in your favorite space. However, It is now the summer. The breeze is now warm and the sun is high above your head, embracing you with its warm embrace.
There is color everywhere. All the plants are in full bloom. You take some time to enjoy your favorite nature space with all its wonders that it is sharing with you. As you are enjoying your space, again, something catches your eye and you are naturally drawn to it. The size, the shape may vary and it's very different from what you already have in your basket. However, this item is very important to you. You pick the item up. There is a surge of connection that rings through you. This is truly something that you need. You place it gently into your basket. Turning, you give this beautiful space an appreciative look and head back out of this summertime paradise. Keep breathing, my friends. Again, the white energy returns and embraces you. And like before, as you move forward, you again return to your favorite nature space. However, it is now in the autumn. The color palette has shifted. It is now lots of golds, reds, and oranges all around you. The breeze has returned to that cooler, refreshing state. You take some time to explore the harvest that your favorite nature space is offering you. As you enjoy your space, again, something catches your eye. This item is very different from the other two that you have in your basket. However, again, somehow you know that it is important to you.
you go over to it, pick it up, and again are embraced by the rush of certainty that rings through you. You know that this item is important to you too. You carefully place this item in your basket with the other two items you've collected. You turn once more and gaze at the amazing wonders that your nature space is offering you. And then you turn to leave again. Don't forget to breathe, my friends. The white energy greets you, embraces you, and of course, brings you back to your favorite nature space. As you emerge, you know it is winter time in your favorite space. No matter where you live, you see snow glittering all around you. The snow hugs all the trees and the bushes in your nature space, giving them a glittery sparkle. The breeze has turned colder and it makes your face tingle as it kisses its snowy kiss. Your space does look different. It's still amazingly beautiful. However, you can feel your space sleeping. As you take your time exploring and appreciating this sleepy beauty, something again catches your eyes. And please remember that if it doesn't catch right away, it may be harder to see. If you can't see it right away, allow yourself to feel rather than relying on your eyes. You will naturally be drawn to it. Again, as you pick it up, you are greeted 
with the welcoming energy of familiarity. You gently place your item into your basket with your other treasures. Smiling, you send your space good night wishes. Breathe, my friends. As you head out, you are embraced most welcomely by that white energy. This time, the energy brings you to a quiet room with a much appreciated warm fire. Burning bright, in a very beautiful fireplace. You sit down in front of the fire and slowly take your items out of the basket and place them down in front of you. You pick up the item that you found in the spring and take a moment to really look at what it is you found. Now I'd like you to take a few moments to write down and draw everything you can about what it is you found in the spring. I would recommend that you grab your binder and pen now and get that information physically out. You carefully place the item back down and pick up what you found in the summer. Again, taking some time to really be open to this object, to what it is you found in the summertime. Now, take a few moments to write and draw all you can about this object, allowing all your senses to interact and give you feedback about what it is you're holding. You again carefully place down the object you found in the summer and pick up the one that you found in the autumn.
taking a moment to gain all you can from this item. Now, take that moment to write down and draw all you can about this item. All that you receive from all of your senses. Finally, you set down the item that you found in the autumn and gently pick up what it is you found in the winter. And take some time to explore this item. And finally, I want you to write and draw everything you can, all that you receive from this beautiful item. Keep breathing, my friends. Take a few moments to reflect on all that you have found. How have these items impacted you right now? Take another moment to write down any further insight and thoughts and feelings that you have about what it is you have found throughout the year. Your little journey to one of your favorite spaces has helped you connect in with some of that missed abundance. Things that have been there all along throughout your year that were easily overlooked. Remember that any time you feel depleted and that you have minimal abundance in any or all areas of your life, take some time to revisit this space to help connect in with the abundance that's been in your adventure hidden in plain sight. Breathe, my friends.
Now I want you to visualize silver energetic cords coming through the bottoms of your feet and entering into the earth. See these cords descend through the different layers of the earth as they head towards the core. Once they get there, the cords wrap themselves around the center three times before heading back up towards you. Once they reach you, the cords lovingly wrap themselves around you. They do not hurt you. They help to anchor you to Gaia and to the earth. You feel the stability and the foundation of the earth supporting you, stabilizing you from your amazing journey. On your next inhale, I want you to raise your hands high above your head, stretching and releasing any built up gunk and tension. And then on your exhale, I want you to lower your arms back down and let that gunky, tension filled yuck out. Don't worry, your guardian angel is with you and they will be able to transmute that heavy gunkiness into a high vibrational energy that will support you for your greater good. But really good. We've been sitting for quite some time. Stretch your hands up high above your head again on that next inhale, twisting and reaching, getting those muscles moving again, allowing anything that has settled in your body to be released. And then let's get rid of it. Let it out again. It's amazing how much can get trapped with lack of movement and conscious acknowledgement. Now I want you to slowly tilt your head side to side. Please continue to take your meditative breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Then I want you to start to wiggle your fingers and unwind your wrists. Now wiggle your toes and roll out your ankles. We are slowly coming back to present. If your eyes were closed, please slowly open them now giving yourself some time to readjust yourself to your surroundings. I want to thank you for joining me today. You have added another tool to support you on your journey, giving you advantage to overcoming those challenges and helping you to engage more fully with that abundance that's all around you. You should be really proud of the work you've done here. Give yourself a big hug for taking some time for you and helping you to gain some insight into the abundance that's been with you. Please remember that over the next couple of days, the information that we tapped into today may become clearer or you may have further insight to add. I would recommend that you have your spiritual binder and pen close at hand or at least a pen and paper with you so that should further information or ahas come to you, you can write them down and add them to your binder at a later date. The information is very important. It helps you on your journey. It makes you feel stronger. I hope that you've enjoyed this meditation and that you found it helpful in connecting in with that abundance that was so easily missed. I'm going to be continuing to create guided meditations for my friends. I love giving you guys the added supports and tools to help you overcome those challenges. 
and really embrace the wonders and the opportunities that are all around you. If you have any suggestions or requests on meditations or tools that you'd like me to cover, please leave them below. I'd love to hear back from you guys on what would help you out the most right now. Again, I want to thank you for spending this time with me and being open to this tool that has connected you with your abundance. Until tomorrow, my friends. <laughs>